Hi there, I'm Katie and I've just started as the next generation intern and finance assistant here at New Community. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through everything that's going on around our community at the moment. And there's quite a bit of it, so let's get stuck in. It was great to see some of you at our first in-person gathering back at Central Hall last Sunday evening. These are happening every Sunday at 6.30 on a six-week trial basis. If you're planning on coming along tonight, make sure you've signed up beforehand via our website or the link in your email, and don't forget your mask. Billy will be expanding a little more on our vision, and we'll have front-led worship and space for prayer and the prophetic. All the talks will be recorded and available on the website for those of you who can't make it. We're very excited that we're going to be starting God's House again on the 11th of October. Hooray! This time we're going to be heading through the jungle. They will run from 9.45 till 11.15 a.m. at Central Hall for children in years R to 5. However, we do need all children to book in by the end of today, the 27th of September, via Church Street. So please don't forget, do it now. Just do it! While you're signing up for God's House, you can also register your child for our new Trailblazers Connect group. We're going to be trialling a Connect group for children in year 3 to 5 on Thursday the 1st and 15th of October. It will run from 6.15 to 7.30pm at Central Hall. Again, we need you to sign up to this by the end of today, the 27th of September, via Church Street. Don't miss out. Some new appointments to announce this week. Our resident Captain America lookalike, Alex Sheen, has now formally been appointed as a trustee. And tomorrow, Rachel Comer will start her new role as Community Development Facilitator. Having been part of the team as a volunteer running Bait Club and teaching Creative English for the last few years, she will support our development of Community Hub activities at Central Hall, helping us to build connection, promote well-being and bring relief through alleviating poverty in all its forms. Do pray for both her and Alex as they take on these new roles. Hopefully you will have heard that our community coffee shop at Central Hall has been open for a while now, serving takeaway coffee with some outdoor seating available. Well, from this week we will now be able to offer limited amount of socially distanced indoor seating for customers, in line with government guidance of course. You are welcome to come and visit Monday to Thursday, 8am to 3pm. Finally, if you are a student looking for a church here in Southampton, whether you've just started or you feel like you've been doing your PhD for 10 years, we would love to meet you. We have a group of wonderful students and young adults who meet weekly, so why not come and say hello to some real life people? Send Lewis a text on the number below or email students at newcommunity.org.uk to get involved. We love students here at New Community and as a recent graduate myself, I'd really recommend getting stuck in with church. It can make such a difference in your university experience. Well, that's it for this week's news. If you want to top up during the week, you can find out loads of stuff by visiting our website and following us on all the usual social medias. Bye now.